I started this channel because I wanted to help people. Not to show how much money I make or what kind of car I drive, but to teach people the fundamentals when it comes to investing, saving, make sure that you're able to stay above the frail when it comes to pandemics, depressions, recession. So for those who don't know who I go by, I go by One Cheap Compadre, and you're watching Cheap Compadre TV, where on my channel we talk about savings, investings, politics, and even story time. So today, I want to talk about a few issues that have been going on lately in society. And the first one is when it comes to saving. Now, when it comes to saving, the whole purpose of it is not to become wealthy. The whole purpose of saving is to allow you a cushion so that you don't have to go into debt using your credit cards. That's the purpose of saving. Not to become wealthy, not to become rich, not to get a extra 2%, 3% by putting it in a bank account where you can make more money. We all know that when you put your money into a bank account, they only give you maybe 1% on your uh, saved money in that account. So when we talk about savings, we're not talking about how you can become rich off of savings. Savings should only be used as a cushion to help you to avoid using credit cards. That's the whole purpose behind it. So at night, you'll be able to sleep because you know that in case of the emergency, you don't need Affleck. You don't need uh, your cousin Billy to bail you out when there's a crisis that you are facing. Remember that when it comes to saving money, the whole purpose is to make sure that in case of the emergency, like if you lose your job or something happened to your house or some type of emergency, you are more prepared to deal with that situation when it comes then the first thing you go to is credit. The first thing you want to go to is the saved cash that is in your account. Now, it is true that when it comes to banks that they take your money and they give it to someone else and they charge them high interest fees to use that money that you have saved in your account. That is completely true. But the main purpose of you saving is not to gain money off of your money. The whole purpose is to have that money saved. So in case of an emergency, the first thing you don't have to go to is your credit cards because you are using this money to avoid being brought back into another uh, situation where you have to be in debt to someone because the whole purpose of building wealth is to have freedom, not to be uh, tied up in debt to someone. So where you get your high interest rates off of your money that builds you wealth is investing in real estate, things of that nature, or starting your own startup, not off of your safe money. Okay, so let it be clear that the whole purpose is to just have a cushion. Now, when it comes to student loans, I know that we have a new administration, uh, President Biden, 
and people are promised that they will receive $50,000 in forgiveness money towards their student loans. Now, let me forewarn you that this will probably be in a policy that you will have to put forth some form of work towards gaining that $50,000. It won't be like they'll just give you $50,000. So by you just holding off on paying your student loans, that would probably hurt you in the long run because of this opportunity that you have right now where you can pay zero interest on your student loans. So you may want to continue uh, paying off your student loans, especially when it's zero percent each month, because yes, it may be true that $50,000 may be given, but it may be in a form of where you may have to work some type of uh, c job or career where it's something that ties to uh, giving back to the community. So just don't think that this new administration would just hand you $50,000. You'll probably have to work for it in order to get it. And that's probably over time. It could be probably five years, 10 years. Uh, it all depends on this administration. So don't think that all of a sudden your student loans will be uh, extinguished or disappear and then you can get on with your life. I don't think it's going to be that simple. I think that uh, you will have to uh, put forth some form of equity, equity into that uh, policy where you will have to probably put in some amount of years into a particular uh, job or career that ties to that $50,000. I don't think that this administration would just hand you over $50,000. And my thing is, what about those individuals who actually paid off their student loans? What do they get? Uh, what about them being responsible and paying off their bills on time every month until it was paid off? Do they get anything? So you mean to tell me you award, you award people who are not responsible, but you don't reward people who are. So I think that we need to uh, rethink and revalue how we're structuring this policy because at the end of the day, you have people who are responsible, who are doing the right things, and who should receive some form of conversation for uh, being a uh, productive citizen so um, not I'm not getting on those individuals who are uh, paying who are struggling they do need help and they do need assistance but my thing is that if they receive something what about those individuals who did put forth the effort and did pay off their debt and are being productive citizens as well. They too should receive something as well. Now, the third thing I wanna talk about is this uh, Barcades uh, banking. I don't know if you heard about it, but it's talking about credit scores and how people uh, would uh, defer their uh, credit payments for about, I believe, six months. And now they're finding out that the bank is uh, sending their information to the uh, credit bureaus and stating that their uh, payments have been late or they haven't been paying on them, even though they were promised that if they deferred them, that they wouldn't be uh, penalized for uh, not paying for the last couple of months due to this pandemic, due to this uh, recession that we're uh, dealing with right now. So many people are upset right now and they are uh, sending letters to the uh, credit bureaus uh, stating that uh, they were promised that if they would defer their payments for six months that they wouldn't be penalized 
for uh, choosing to uh, 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 not pay on their uh, credit uh, obligations and to uh, they were able to uh, have a certain amount of money to start paying again. So many people are uh, caught up in this uh, trap where they will have to send letters and stay on top of these uh, credit bureaus to make sure that these uh, uh, messages or information that were sent from the banks will be taken off of their credit history. So just be mindful that if you're in a situation where you can't pay, you can't pay. I mean, that's that's not your uh, that shouldn't be something that is penalized towards you. But if you actually have the money to pay it, then you should be paying off your uh, credit obligations, your debt, because as you can tell that these banks are not uh, putting in account the situation that many people are going through right now. So if you can actually pay things on time that you actually have an income coming in, then you should make sure that you pay and keep track of your obligations because this situation is causing a lot of havoc and stress on people who believe that once they um, uh, send off the paperwork and they will be able to avoid paying their uh, debt for a couple months and will not be penalized that they will be able to do it. But now it turns out that actually that this was a, a form of misleading information and is causing a lot of people to uh, not be able to sleep at night because they believe that they will be able to uh, avoid these payments for a couple months and get some form of deprive and um, less stress. But now it is is uh, building even more stress and people are upset and they're sending letters and they're not getting uh, in contact with people and they have to wait for uh, 30 days or even more until they get a reply. So this is causing a real problem in society, which could eventually lead to this um, economy to start uh, to uh, decrease and cause even more problems if we don't get a hold of this and hold people accountable. All right, so here's the last thing that I want to talk about. And here we're going to be talking about retailers investors where they're bringing up the market and this could be either a win for the uh, average investor or this could be a situation where people are believing the hype and being brought in and this could lead to a lot of people being burned at the end of the day because here's the deal when it comes to investing, especially if you're doing individual option trading, um, hedge, whatever you. So this goes out to those retailer investors from Robin Hood. If you invest, make sure to invest. So you want to take something off the top, but you don't want to be greedy where it leads to you losing all your money. So other than that. Make sure to uh, destroy the like button, become a subscriber, share these uh, four uh, topics with uh, your friends and family and put a comment down below and make sure to click the uh, bell for my latest content and until then, have a great day.